Okay, let's pro let's proceed with another problem. And the problem goes like this. A steel bar carrying a 3,000 kilonewton load is attached to a support by a round pin, 0 0.3 in diameter. What is most nearly the average shear in the pin? Ngayon, pag pin, ganito yan. Meron yan para supporting yoke. Yan, yan. Okay. Drawing ko lang. Sorry sa drawing ko ah. Medyo uh, distorted kasi hindi pa ako sanay masyado. And then, baguhin natin yung kulay para mas maintindihan nyo. This is your pin. Ganon. Okay, tapos ito daw, attached to a support by a round pin. So, a steel bar. Magawin natin yung kulay ng steel bar para mas maintindihan ulit natin. Okay, this is your steel bar. This is the steel bar. Okay, meron daw load dyan. Now, wait. Carrying a load of 3,000... Now you have a uh, diameter nito na 0 0.3 meters. Now, pag ganito ang loading mo, tandaan mo, meron siyang shear. Yung pin, di ba? Yung pin, may shear yan. Kaya lang, ano ba yung counteracting forces niya? Pag hinila mo yan, hindi lang naman niya, hindi naman magka-counteract dyan yung pin mismo, okay? Ang magka-counteract dyan, yung dalawang dulo ng pin. Kapakita natin. Kung meron kang cooling force dito, there you might say, you might say na dito may cooling force ka rin. Okay? Yun yung counteracting forces. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung shear niya, hindi lang iisa. So, you are given double shear. Now, if that is double shear, okay? Now, the formula, as we can recall, na ang shear stress ng pin will be equal to the force over twice itong area. Bakit? Kasi meron kang ikakalculate dito. Yung area dito and yung area dito. Twice itong area. Yung affected ng loading. Gets? That is double shear. Now, ano bang hinahanap natin dito? So, what is average shear stress? So, the average shear stress is equal to force that is 3,000 kilonewton. Or gawin ko na lang na Newtons, 1,000 to. Okay. Newton. Divided by 0 0.3, i-multiply mo ng 1,000, that is 300, kung di ako nagkakamali. 0.3 times 1,000, that is 300. 300 din. Okay. Twice, circular naman ang pin, pi over 4, d squared is 300 mm. Okay. So, 3,000 times 1,000 twice power. Di may divide na lang. So, pi over 2 na lang yan. Times 300 squared. Okay. Your average shear stress will be average shear stress will be 21.2207 newton per millimeter squared or mp okay ganun lang kadali ang strength of materials basta alam mo yung pag uh, extricate ng mga ideas na ganyan okay kaya mo siyang i uh, part by part and next, ito na. What is most nearly the total elongation of the rod shown? If E is 69 GPA, it is siguro yung rod that is, I think, more or less aluminum. Okay? Given, parehong material, pero magkaiba ng size. Ganito. Ha? Kapag magkakaibang bar, pinagsama-sama, meron tong deformation na separate. 
dito. Okay. Ang elongation nila or the deformation is actually the total ng dalawa. So, meron kang deformation ni 1 plus deformation ni 2. Okay? Iisa lang ang loading pero magkaiba ng deformation. Okay? So, let us see. Okay? Ito, mas mataba yung taas. Dapat ganon. And then, mas manipis yung baba. Pareho naman silang solid circular. Iisa lang ang loading. Okay? Now, paan natin i-list down? Okay? Let's go here. Meron tayong total elongation of the two bars. Okay? Meron kang elongation ni 1. Meron kang elongation ni 2. Okay? But, yung formula kasi ni elongation, di ba parang nakangiwi? Ulin, Luna, ayaw kay Andrew. Ayaw kay Andrew. Okay? Yung P2 out naman is equal. P1 is equal to P2. Okay? So, you might say na ito, P1, L1 over area ni 1, Tandaan nyo, si E1 is equal to E2. Kasi pareho lang sila ng uh, material na ginamit. Okay? P2, L2 over A2, P2. Okay? And then si low D. P over D. Equal to multiply to L over A. L1, E1 plus L2 over A. Labas ko na si 4 over 5. Equal to 4 over 5. Multiply by L1 over B1 squared plus L2 over B2 squared. Now, we'll have 4. Ano ba yung loading mo? 27 kilonewtons. Gawin ko na lang newton. 27,000 newtons divided by E. Ang binigay dyan is 69 dpa. So, let us say 69,000 newton per millimeter square. Multiplied by, ano yung L mo? Given sa 1, that is 300 m. over B squared. B1 squared, that is hindi. 2.5 pala ito. Si 2.5 yung isa 1.75. 22,500 meter. Over yung Plus 1.75, 1,750 mm. Over. Yung 150 kasi talahat. Na 150. Okay. The answer will be, the total elongation now is calculated na. Dire-diretso lang ako pang resolve, ha? You know me, ilang beses tayo magkakasama. 4 times 27,000 over kulang tayo dito ng 5. Pi, kulang tayo ng 5. Shift pi times 6, 9,000. Dapat maliit lang ito. So, this will be 2,500. Divide natin ng 150 squared. Okay. So, the deformation is napakaliit lang. 0.0.0. .0 5, 2, 6, and That is the total deformation you'll, ever, you'll get in terms of deformation. You'll get okay, with the loading na 27 kilometers. Okay, so nakasolve na naman tayo ng isa. Ganun lang kadali yun. Okay, I-equate mo lang lahat. Now, let's go with another problem. Okay, papasok na dito si alat. 
Okay? A bar. A bar at 10 degrees Celsius is constrained. Ibig sabihin, meron kang initial temperature, Ti. Is constrained in a rigid concrete wall. Constrained. Ibig sabihin, nandito sa gitna ng dalawang walls. Okay? Constrained. At both ends. Okay? The bar is 1,000 millimeter long and has a cross-sectional area of 26,000 millimeters squared. Now, what is most nearly is its actual force in the bar if the temperature is raised to 40 degrees Celsius. Now, hindi natin alam si A. Okay, may kulang dito ng event. Where E, steel bar daw yan. E is equal to 200 GPA. And alpha is 9 times 10 to the negative. 9 times 10. Okay. Ito yung kulang na given. 9.4 times 10 to the negative 6. To the negative 6 power. Negative 5 ba? Negative 6. Negative 6. Negative 6. Negative 6. Negative 6 per degree Celsius. Okay. Now, tandaan nyo na ang deformation is equal to alat. Okay. Alat. A. Alat. Alat. Okay. Seat. Okay. Or alat. Pag thermal elongation. Now, ang elongation din naman kasi, di ba, equal yan sa PL over A. So, you are given ng L, you are given ng A, you are given E. So, you will solve for E. Okay? Pwede natin itong i-jumble-jumble. Okay? So, let us simplify. P, L over A. E. The missing part is E. Yung nga na. Actual force. Okay? Kapag in-expand uh, in mo daw yung bar. Let us rearrange. P equal to yung A. A. B. Okay. Uh, lat. Over. L. So, makakancel yung L. Area is, meron ng given, hindi na natin yung given, that is 2,600 mm squared. Tapos, 200,000 newton per millimeter squared. And then A, Okay, yung A natin. Ano ba yung A? A is, nababa na natin ito ilista. Okay? Okay, nababa natin sa ilista. P is equal to 2,600 millimeter squared. And then E is 200,000 Newton per millimeter squared. Tapos yung A, that is 9.4 times 10 to the negative 6 per degree Celsius. Celsius degree. Okay? Celsius degree. Okay? Celsius degree. Tapos delta T is uh, 40 minus 10 Celsius degree kasi change in temperature. So, wala ka ng L kasi cancel din. Tignan natin kung mag-aaral tayo with Newtons. Okay, millimeter squared. Millimeter squared, Celsius degree, Celsius degree. Okay, let us solve. Diret-diretso lang. 2,600. Multiplied to 200,000. Then 9.4 times 10 to the negative 6. 
times 30. And you'll arrive with 146,640 newtons. Yun yung loading niya. Napakalaki. Pag in ko pa lang bakal, within concrete walls, ang laki na ang may iging counteracting force niya para siyang kakawala. Now, that is the uh, actual load due to thermal stress. 